Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void! Today it's going to be Stats versus Trap from DreamHack Fall. Top right hand corner it is the blue Protoss player Stats. And in the bottom left it is the red Protoss player Trap. I said to myself today, I said, Falcon, we haven't had a PvP on the new channel yet. Let's go ahead and get right on that. So I did. This is from the quarterfinal. Stats is currently in the quarterfinal of DreamHack Winter as well. The only Korean in the quarter final, final for DreamHack. Quarter final? What was that? Anyway, man. Did you ever think we'd see a DreamHack with one Korean in the quarterfinal and two Koreans? Wait, one Korean in the semifinal. Man, I get those confused. Okay. Semifinal. Stats is in the semifinal of DreamHack Winter, and there were two Koreans in the quarterfinal. Everybody else was either from Europe or the United States. That is incredible. The region lock. The region lock, you guys. Uh, Estrella versus Stats was an excellent, excellent uh, five-game PvP. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on uh, DreamHack's, well, ESLSE2's Twitch page. I'm sure there's a VOD for it. I'm not going to cast the best of five because, I don't know, mirror matchup best of fives are, you know, just a little bit, a little bit too mirror-y for my fan base. But anyway, everyone's doing the same thing here. Like this, there are ways to do crazy stuff in PvP. You can go for proxies, you can go for cannon rushes. But this right here is what you want to do if you just want to play it normal, man. If you have no interest in doing anything crazy, this is where you live. So we got ourselves two gateways, a cybernetics core. This is uh, the diverging point is coming up where in each Protoss has to decide do they want to make two adepts, do they want to make two stalkers or two sentries perhaps. Or maybe one of each of those options uh, can be pretty fun. So two stalkers from stats and trap for some reason. Oh, there we go. Sentry. Okay, so yeah, stalker sentry. See, these are the options they chose from the menu, and that's what they came up with. Probe says, okay, nothing crazy here. Trap going for the scoutorama. Same thing for stats. They just recognize. They're both, look at this. They're both throwing in their pylons in the same location for shield batteries for later, and then they're probably going to expand. And It's... <laughs> Oh, actually, Stats throws down a pylon just to kind of, I guess, maybe freak Trap out a bit. But Trap knows. Uh, I mean, I don't think... There's nothing to worry about here. There's not a forge on the other side of the map. Stats is not doing that at all. So whatever... Then it gets canceled anyway. So, yep. Crisis averted. Stargate from Trap and Stargate from Stats. This... <laughs> Yeah, man, this is PvP. This is PvP how it is built, you guys. It is such a mirror matchup in a lot of ways. And yeah, army compositions are a little bit different. But here we go. Ooh, whoever gets the first shot in these stalker battles generally wins them. So I think at this point, yeah, Stats just has to go. Stats cannot turn around. He will lose both the stalkers. He'll be a very sad panda. Hallucinated Phoenix from Trap cruising on out. Stats expanding, trap expanding. I mean, this is exactly this is exactly what you expect in a PvP. Shield battery from trap earlier. He's expecting more aggression out of stats, but man, stats went all the way home. Like, all the way home. Oracle on the way from stats, and a phoenix on the way from trap. So shoot, we have an oracle name on the list here, ready to go. This oracle's name is Starlight. The Protoss were researching the technology to harvest the raw energy of the stars which would be everlasting for them. They wanted to support ship that could roast the Zerg infestation from its roots that are, wait, from its roots, which are the drones. After heavy research, they were able to harvest the raw energy of the Star Vega in a highly contained vessel that would fire scorching projectiles to roast the Zerg alive. And that is how Starlight the Oracle was born, ready to take commands and armed with the raw power of the star to burn and purify the infestation of the Zerg to the best of its ability. Wow, okay, Starlight, um, here to purify Zerg, but I guess maybe you need a test run against some heretic Protoss, yeah? The plan here is to try to kill as many Protoss units as possible. And, uh, I mean, there's a shield battery here, but you can't really heal through the damage done by... The problem... There's the stasis. The problem is it just takes longer. And the Oracle using more energy to kill a couple probes is not really worth it to... Yeah, worth it to the Oracle. So stasis toss down I actually did catch... These two probes, that's a bigger victory than I think that we were expecting. Nicely done out of stats there. And at this point, I mean, no probes. I don't think any probes died. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's right. Trap had a probe up here scouting for thirds, but it got nailed 
by the Oracle. Both players going for Blink for their Stalkers. I'm assuming we're going to see a Robo at some point. The Stalker Immortal play is just too strong. If you don't have your own Immortals, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, just really wants to scout for a third. Is Stats getting a third base? Or is he ramping up to go for an attack here on two bases? And the answer seems to be two base, based on the timing we're seeing here. Same thing with Trap, though. He's not going to expand unless he knows that Stats is... He's playing it pretty reactive and pretty safe here today, I gotta say. Trap actually going for a forge. Way before Stats is. Like, holy smoke, Stats is not getting a forge at all. Throwing on two additional gateways and warping in a third base down here to the south of the natural. Okay, so third base, and then Trap gets his third base afterwards. Alright, so this is turning into more of a macro PvP than I think average PvPs turn into. There was one game between Estrella and Stats that started with some crazy one base aggression from Estrella and then went 20 minutes. It was nuts. It was such a fun game. PvP can be really interesting. And I think that's what inspired me to cast a PvP today was that Estrella versus Stats game or series because, again, like Estrella's playing super well. It might have been too much to expect to ask him to beat Stats in DreamHack in the quarterfinal, but. He acquitted himself exceptionally excellently. I like I like Estrella a lot. I like what he's doing. Okay, so yeah, both players going for that Robo. We're going to see some Immortals in the mix and probably Disruptors. Who are we kidding? One of these players is going to make Disruptors at some point. There's just no reason not to do it. Disruptor is best against fellow Protoss. Just because you can catch clumps of Stalkers and just really reduce the army value of your opponent's armed forces. And I mean, it can be pretty good against Terran, mostly for zoning, but those little buggers are so fast. The Marines and Marauders with Stim just run away. Zoof! And the Purification Nova can't hit. Against Zerg, it can be pretty good, but there, are, I think, are better ways for the Zerg to kill the Disruptor, for example, Abduct. That makes it a little bit less viable against elite Zerg players than it is against Terran, and it is against Protoss. There's your Robotics Bay from Stats. Coming in somewhere. I don't want to there. Wait, what? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so Stats getting that robotic bay at the natural base for the Disruptors. Or, heck, maybe Colossus. We could see that. That was the meta in Wings of Liberty many, many years ago. Was how many Colossus can you get off of two bases? And then you go War of the Worlds against each other in PvPs. And whoever has the most Colossus wins. That's what it was for some time. Kind of a silly matchup. It's gotten much better since, I'm going to say. Much, much better since. So at this point, soccer count is 14 to 15. Cool. Stats has an immortal, and Trap is working on it, kind of. Oh, that state. Oh, if he can bait him into that stasis. But man, that one immortal really changes the equation here. It's the problem, is you can have more stalkers, but if that immortal is just worth its weight in about four or five stalkers. Hmm, some zealots in the mix. I'm liking that. Charge is almost done for these guys, and weapons level one. For the gateway units. Going for warp prism speed. Oh, nice snipe on that stasis. Stasis ward trap shut down. Stats trying to go for it. No, not happening. Not happening, governor. Stalkers pushing. Trap. Really trying. I mean, barely anything has died here. A stasis ward and a probe has died in the first eight minutes. It's been the most cautious PvP we've seen in some time. Trap really, really wants to make it happen here but doesn't want to attack into death. And I think Stats is uh, in agreement here. <laughs> he just doesn't want to die. So nobody's really jumping. Nobody's blinking on top of the other army at all. Disruptors are out for Stats. And really, no robotics units here at all for Trap. I'm actually kind of concerned about this. He has zero. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He just made two Disruptors and he's making more. So he really can't engage into this until he has his own Disruptors is the problem. Yeah, he's got to watch out for Nova's like the closer he is to this army. This is much a problem. Fourth base for stats coming in. Fourth base from Trap at virtually the same time. These guys are on the same plan. Oh, War Prism snipe. Big deal there. War Prism goes down and in revenge, a Stalker gets killed. Trap's like, you killed my War Prism. I get a Stalker. Oh, and then Trap loses a Stalker. And we're just, we're back and forth here on Ice and Chrome. A map which is very good for macro games and is currently gone. Not in the map pool anymore. It makes me very, very sad. Dark Shrine coming in. Some trap. I do like DTs. DTs in this matchup can be very good. Whether they have Shadow Stride or not. They're really good against workers, obviously. Great against buildings. Great against stalkers. If, you know, if they're not getting detected. 
Um, try to win for a zealot run by. Yeah, try to go for that. No, says stats. He's just everywhere with it. This zealot trying to kill disruptors. <laughs> it's an admirable effort, Mr. Zealot. It really was. Trap wants to send in that group back up that left side and maybe try to get in there where stats isn't paying attention. And maybe it's suddenly zealots are inside your fourth, but he's got defensive zealots there too, so you can be uh, be very, very careful with that one. Stats is he's watching his six is all he's doing here. He's making sure. Got these guys on control groups. Nova hit. Oh, first Nova hit of the day, I think. We've seen some Novas sent out, but nothing's connected yet. I like the Guardian Shield up here for stats. Yeah, we are just going to disrupt our tennis here for a little bit of time. If you're all just going to settle back in your seats here, we're going to see Purification Novas be sent out over and over again. When the, just, uh, when the Disruptor was new, this was every PvP. It's not really the case anymore, but every once in a while, the old roots come back. Yeah, see these zealots try to get into that fourth? No, Sestat zealots, you're not at all. The tennis match continues. Upgrades coming in for Trap, plus three on the way. And Shadow Stride, loving that. So yeah, Trap's working on both of those. Stats, no plus three upgrades. Falling apart a little bit here. I mean, not like entirely, but you know, could be a problem in the late run. Also, Fleet Beacon coming in from stats. So interesting. He is, okay, so he's getting plus three for his ground units and he's getting a Fleet Beacon. But actually, that's already been going for Trap here for some time as well. So we're <laughs> transitioning into Sky Toss. Nobody wants to do this for the next 10 minutes. We're gonna go for things like Tempests. We're gonna go for things like maybe Carriers. Anything to make these stupid Disruptors just completely invalid in this game because right now they're owning the field they're causing all sorts of problems but once you get flying units it doesn't matter anymore yeah both people getting air plus one air weapons dark shrine away from stats this is as mirrory as mirrory of a matchup as you're ever going to see <laughs> hey let me know if i sound a little different i did get a replacement microphone from my blue yeti um my old one it was like three four years old really served me well but unfortunately it got to a point where it wasn't recognized as a yeti microphone by windows anymore and that's because some of the internal uh hardware had died on the microphone according to support so i just got a new one and it was fine but i'm trying to balance all the sound and it sounds i don't know it doesn't sound great to me right now and uh so if you can let me know if there's a problem with it or if it's great and you didn't tell a difference then tell me in the comments because again i read every comment anybody ever makes on any of my channels so if you want to get my um, attention and give me feedback, that's a good way to do it. So triple carrier on the way from trap. Dang, son. Really committing to the sky toss stuff. Double expanding, too, down here along the south. Which I kind of like. I mean, trap's got that single expansion. Oh, boy. Get out of there. Oh, trap's got an army completely surrounded. And if there wasn't blink available, that would be the death. Okay, so that base gets canceled. Trying to double expand there. Doesn't go super well. Shield battery overcharge. Allowing defensive DTs and Zealots to have a great time with it. Stats coming down the strap seems like a bad idea. Yeah, as triple purification Nova's come in. Oh, catching a disruptor with a Nova, though. That's right. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Three carriers on the way here from stats, too. But I think we're looking at a an army upgrade advantage. Well, just an army total upgrade advantage. Army total advantage here from Trap. We've got the three carriers already working on three more. And Stats is working on his first three. So if it comes down to how many carriers each player has, Trap has a big time advantage and it keeps getting bigger all the time here. Got a mothership in production too. Yeah, I like that Stats punished that attempt at a double expand. Trap could not defend this. He knew that. He couldn't defend that and this at the same time, especially if it wasn't established at all. So he knew. Resources lost here. Traps lost about 2,000 more than Stats has, which is nice. I mean, again, Starcraft is largely just about a series of trades. Who can make the best trades? The most cost-efficient trades. That might change here. With the fact that we have six carriers out for Trap and three for Stats. Stats is coming down with his ground army. Again, just trying to do what he can with these disruptors because they're slowly getting removed from the game with all these carriers in the sky. 
Yeah, man. Trap pushing up. Got a bit of an engagement down. I don't know what that was. Something died. Yeah, disruptors, again, great against stationary targets. They will kill shield batteries. They will kill cannons. They will try to catch fleeing probes, too. 11 probes go down, but stats is down here. Just absolutely going to town on this fourth base for trap. The disruptors aren't quite sure what to do with themselves. And we look like we're in a base trade scenario. Going to go ahead and kill maybe two bases of stats for one base of trap. That's a trade that trap should make any day of the week. I like how trap is doing at the moment. He's making some great decisions. And yes, one of trap's bases died. But that is two consecutive base deaths. Purification Nova's used to finish that off. And suddenly, trap is inside the main base. Oh, man. Stats is actually sniping off the mothership with his stalkers, but the carriers are staying alive. This is abject chaos here inside the main base of Stats. He's forced to retreat with those own stalkers. Uh, okay, finally getting some stalkers in, focusing down carriers a little bit, but is it enough to kill? I mean, this one's got five kills, and it stays. Oh, no, it goes down. What killed it? Something... Uh, probably enemy carrier would be my guess. Oh, stats! Mothership comes out and instantly gets sniped. Oh, it is two carriers go down here, too. This is uh, problematic, is what it is. Stats main base is in shambles a little bit at the moment. Uh, but you know what? Okay, he did get in here with all his disruptors and his stalkers and did take care of Trap's infestation. But once again, we're sitting at a four base here for Trap and a three base from Stats. Stats is trying to expand to this bottom right, but guess who's warping in Dark Templar to shut it down? The instant it finishes, he waited until that was finished. Oh gosh, does he have detection here? He doesn't have detection here. Where is his detection? Does he have an observer with his army? I don't know that he does. Oh! Oh! Wait, whose disruptor was- what is going on? Ah! <laughs> Purification Nova takes out the DTs! <laughs> Trap coming in to try to shut this base down because if he can do that, again, he's going to be in a really good position to win. Oh, Stalkers trade so well versus carriers, but really abusing this high ground is Trap. Loving that stuff. Big time Nova hit. Trap managed to get a Nova hit there in the middle of Stats Army. Trap decides to pull back and just let Stats have this base. And that's a big time victory. He's going to expand towards Stats, which I think is a terrible idea. Stats is right here, man. If he just takes a hard left, suddenly that Nexus is cancelled, and he does. He takes the hard left, he checks the space because he's not a dummy, he forces the cancel, and that's a cancel. 300 minerals refunded. Well, that means that Trap says, well, you can have that base, but I'm going to go ahead and kill this one, this fourth base of yours. So both players in the process of losing their own fourth bases. Effectively. I mean, I think technically this is a fifth for Trap, but oh, it's got Colossus. Oh, he saved it. He saved it. Oh, Trap. I think Trap is in the driver's seat here. He leaves some stalkers behind. Oh, he wants to trap. Nice blink. And another. No, oh, not enough. Three stalkers down. The Nova hit. The Nova hit was huge. Oh, he can't finish off the Nexus. Neither player can take down their opponent's fourth, although Trap did a good amount of damage there. He's killed 28 probes, but also Trap has lost 28 probes. So, at this point, 47 to 48 workers. This is an intensely close PvP. Look at Trap losing his carriers, too. That's another one down. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Nova's for Trap trying to take out these stalkers. My gosh, it's 49 to 44 army supply. It is the tightest, most dangerous situation. Something just killed 16 workers. These, these Oh my gosh, they didn't finish the Nexus. Guys, finish the Nexus. Oh, he wants to take... The, look at him killing disruptors, though. Uh-oh. He got one at least. He's, oh, another snipe there. Beautiful stalker control out of Trap. He's expanding again to this base that he couldn't really hold the first time, but he's really making a go of it at the moment. This has been some intense, intense PvP. Trap's got two additional disruptors in production. He's pretty much given up on the Sky Toss, would be my guess. Uh, Stalker, good unit, man. That is why you don't see carriers a ton in PvP. Trap trying to expand left side. Stats has something to say about that. 
do. Oh, blinks at the last second. Hits that group knowing they just blinked. Crap, your intelligence level is through the charts right now. It's 82 to 60 total supply, but Stat seems to be winning this engagement. Defender's advantage kicks in with nice warpins. Mm, but the upgrades being even, and Stat just has too many stalkers, and this base might get canceled again. I mean, if your stats, do you push into this fourth and try to kill it, or do you go... Man, look at this. He's doing it. Like, you don't have any shield batteries here, do you? Do have a cannon. A cannon. Might be enough. Ooh, look at him focusing. Oh, he blinked. <sighs> the blinks here are disgusting. Purification Nova not really necessary there at all, and stats does get shoved away. Trap somehow holds on to this left side base that he's taking. Uh, I think stats is dead. That 12 o'clock just got wrecked by Zealots. This right side base is extremely vulnerable. If Stats loses this 3 o'clock, he's toast. But both players at 30 supply for army. 34 and 42 army supply. Trap just worked in some stuff. Stats is making Dark Templar, because when behind, use that Dark Shrine. Ah, he's going out of the DC, going after these disruptors, big time targets. Mm. Trying to take down the disruptors, can't quite pull it off there. I'm not sure what's killing. Ah, DT, man, DT going after probes here too. This is tight, this is so tight. 38 to 48 army supply, nobody's over 42 workers right now. The absolute destruction on display here. I think the fact that Stats has plus two ground armor and there is zero armor for Trap is helping Stats win these engagements that look like they should be closer than they are. Dude, upgrades upgrades matter. Trap skipping that is massive right now. I was wondering why Stats was trading so well, and that's got to be it. It's really just got to be the total lack of ground armor for Trap. Zero armor for Trap. That's crazy. He does end up losing the 10 o'clock base, but again, Trap is on two extra bases to stats one extra base here. That said, this base is barely mining right now. Income is a little bit favoring Trap, maybe about 500, 600 resources per minute. Not really enough to guarantee a win. Also, I'm not sure stats wants to come in here. Are we out of disruptors? We might be out of disruptors. Somehow this is Stalker Zealot. All the live long day. Man, these zealots with plus two armor are so hard to kill. It did take a lot of time for Trap to wipe them out, but suddenly Stats is retreating. And if you're retreating, it's never a good thing. He warps in some zealots for more buffering action against the largely stalker composition of Trap. And just, it's hard for zealots, or hard for uh, stalkers to kill zealots, especially if they have that plus two armor upgrade. I am but a phantom. You are but a phantom. Um, but goodbye, Dark Templar. I don't know. I don't know where you were. I can't believe this base is alive. I feel like a DT had this, and then he got called back to be in an attack that didn't go very well. It was kind of a waste of time. Yeah, all of a sudden, look at the supply. Stats plummeting. In comparison, 80 to 53 supply right now. Stats is at 27 army. Hasn't really expanded for some time. He's got this fourth base down the right side. But that's it. He hasn't been able to take the 12 o'clock base. He hasn't been able to reestablish his third at all, really, or fourth. I think this was his fourth. Trap's like, I don't really want to take this out, but it might be a trap. There are no disruptors here. Ha <laughs> ha, trap looking for traps. Good times. Good times here from the Korean players. Sell it. Trying to... Yeah, this is looking... Oh, the blink forward. The aggressive blinking, and that's your good game. Trap is your winner. Does take stats down in 24 minutes and 9 seconds. What a fantastic PvP. That was really, really good. And yeah, look at this income graph. It is definitely favoring Trap for the vast majority of the last 10 minutes. Somehow stats got an advantage. I think maybe that was because he was killing some probes of traps down there towards the end of the game. But yeah, both players had a bit of a fling with Sky Toss there. They lost all of their carriers. They both lost a mothership. Oh, actually, Trap lost two motherships. I'm sorry. Apologize for that mistake. 37 probes down for Trap, 44 down for Stats. And at the end of the day, that's it, man. Stats could not hold the fourth. He didn't have anywhere else to go for income. 
he was mined out here, he was mined out here, he was mined out here. And I think Trap was just one step ahead of stats the whole game. He got into that Sky Toss faster. He did more damage with his Sky Toss before it died. He's able to expand more aggressively. And stats never really attempt to expand anywhere outside of these two bases. He never tried any of the other numerous places you can go here on Ice and Chrome. So maybe a little tentative, interestingly enough. Again, out of the guy who is in the semifinal of DreamHack Winter. So go figure. But that was great. We had Dark Templar. We had Colossus Motherships. No, no. Do we have a Void Ray? I don't think we got a Void Ray today. No, it was just Carriers. Say sa. But Disruptors played a huge part until the very end when there were no Disruptors at all. Dude, Stats only made nine. He made nine Disruptors to 22 for Trap. That's weird. But again, they all died. So does it really matter? Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Good stuff. So that's going to be it from me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.